Hello and welcome. I am the Student Tie Dip and Chew Guy, and this is the number three review of Series 14. Series 14 is Tough Guy, the regular Tough Guy line. And this review will be, as you saw, the winter green. Do want to remind you that this is the last review for right now for this series. I'm leaving this series open ended. Uh, I may or may not get the rest of them in at the beginning of May. If not, I will wait until fall because I do not want the stuff shipped while it's hot out. So, after this, I will be cutting off. I'll be doing a chew review tomorrow and some news, and we'll take it from there. So, right now, let's take a look at the packaging. It is a pretty nice metal lid on a pretty sturdy plastic can. This is the old type can and this is the old type lid. You can tell because there's no spittoon and the tough guy is not raised himself. Just the words, tough guy and the boxed raised rim. Going around to the side, warning label right off the bat, branding, the fact that it's fat cut winter green, it's a net weight 1.2 ounce can, barcode, manufacturer's information, and more branding. We got a band coming off here again, as you can see, uh, I mean, it, it just barely made it around for the seal it's actually <laughs> it's over the bottom of the can basically you know um, so I have never had this surprisingly um, uh, I have a fairly long history of ordering from tough guy and although not so much recently um but i have never had the winter green it is one of two of the regular line uh besides the peppermint of the last review which is a fairly new product i hadn't had that i did not have the winter green ever and i have never had the lemon so i'm going to cut into this now Pop it. Oh. Okay, it's a uh, fairly sweet smelling winter green. This is actually looking a little, and, and by normal tough guy standards, I don't want to make it sound like this is a dry product that I have here, but this is drier looking than usual. That is pretty much what this stuff looks like. For a cut. Now keep in mind, this is fine cut chewing tobacco. It does have a elevated nicotine level. They raise the nicotine in the product, but it is fine cut chew, basically. So, I'm going to take a pinch of this. Well, it's certainly wet down underneath. Whoa. See how there's aspects of that that are like translucent, like sort of like when I pull chew out of a bag? So... Gotta hit the pause button. Back in a minute. And I am back. Okay. It's a good winter green. Uh, that's basically all I can say. It's not as stand out as the last two products. And that may be because of the reason I said they may be pulling this product. Because, you know, it's a 
Flavor-wise, it's got overexposure. Wintergreen's everywhere. Everybody has wintergreen. Multiple cuts, some darks, you know, smooth, cool in some cases. So, it's very sweet. It is, to me, very reminiscent to Hawken. Okay? Uh, now, the difference is, and, and, well, first of all, it's, you know, not ironic, but it, it, it's funny that it's so close to Hawken because Hawken is actually itself, like this, chewing tobacco. It will have tax class C on a can of Hawken. Now, when I did the Hawken review, which was early on in this channel, about six months ago, um... I'm not sure if I had the best can. The can may have been sitting. I, I sort of ran into that by accident that day that I did the review and was like, ah, oh, I've never had this. I got to try it. So, but as, although it might not be the best example of Hawken, what I did have is very, very much like this. This has more moisture and more nicotine because they've added nicotine. It's very sweet. Stays fairly well formed. You saw how it pinches, it pinches well. Uh, this can was a little uh, drier on the top, but it was moist enough once I dug into it. Um, it is becoming very obvious though that this is one of the old lids because the thing doesn't want to stay on. That's me snapping it back and it popping back up. So this isn't going in my pocket at any time. So it's a good wintergreen. It's sweet, as I said. It's got enough nicotine because they've added enough. Um, it stays fairly well formed. I did mean to mention in the other two reviews, this stuff I find, tough guy in general, and also the outlaw. Um, I usually, except for when I'm doing these videos, I usually pack up front and keep it up front. This stuff spreads out along the gum line. Okay, and now I said before that I have an issue personally with the cut of Tough Guy and the Outlaw dips getting into my teeth. It's just the way the stuff's cut. It's not like strands like dip tobacco. It's just flat leaf cut real, real small. And that's fine, but it works in between my teeth for whatever reason. There is, now, that may just be me. It may be my teeth. I mean, I do not have the best set of teeth here on the bottom, obviously. But in general, for the wider audience, you will find, especially if you hold up front, this stuff spreads out. It doesn't break up. It stays, it stays all together. But it will start spreading. And usually, if I have this in my mouth up front, by the time I'm getting it out of my mouth, it's gone horseshoe right around. Not all the way back to my molars, but you know. So, the cut is, yeah, it's better than, let's say, Longhorn, in my mind, obviously. It's easier to deal with than fine cuts. But... It doesn't beat Stoker's long cuts. It doesn't beat that. Uh, I don't think it even beats Skull, to tell you the truth. I, I, it, I, skull stays more formed in the mouth. It doesn't spread out like this. There's a number of them, actually. I mean, Grizzly, could be said, stays and doesn't spread along the gum line. Now, it's not going all over the place in the mouth. I'm not trying to make it sound like it's, you know, acting like a Klondike or something. It's not. But it does tend to migrate out from whatever center point. That said, this packaging on this, uh, you know, the lid's not staying on. Like, it's literally, I, I'm not going to be able to keep, this is going to dry out. It, it's not even keeping a snap down. Um, the band just barely made it, thankfully, because had the band not made it, I'm not sure if this lid would have stayed on during shipping. 
The flavor is all right. It's a wintergreen. It does have a mouthfeel. All these tough guy chews do uh, due to the nicotine being raised. This also has a wintergreen burn. It's nothing out of hand. It's not why I moved it around the side. Um, so, you know, it, it, this just doesn't stand out. The, the peppermint really, I, that's something really different. And the peach is a good peach in a fairly small field of peach that comes in a round can. This, though, it's a good winter green. And that's sort of about it. It's very sweet. Probably has a lot of nicotine, I'm guessing. Um, and that's about it, guys. So, this has been the review of Tough Guy Winter Green Fat Cut Chewing Tobacco. I am the student tie dip and shoe guy. I have only gotten one notification, so I'd like to say hello and thank you to Shut Up Mac. Do check out Berg's Dip Reviews, Winnington Outdoors, Dirty Pat Walsh, Wayside Lee 83, Real Talk Studios, No Bluff Buff, and snoozefreak.com, the channel here on YouTube. I will be back tomorrow with some news to say what we're doing for the next few weeks before this channel goes to every other day. I do hope you all are well. Do take care of yourselves, and God bless.